Well, good morning. It is Thursday morning and we are, yes, speaking about fear. Fear that has caused many to isolate themselves, uh, to lock themselves away from, from fellowship, from society. Uh, and again, we, we, we need to come out of isolation. This is this is really what I'm trying to say. We, we need to break free. <laughs> uh, there was a song uh, sung by somebody, break free, not so. Uh, but, but listen to this. Reset the power button. That is what I'm trying to say to you today. Reset the power button. You know, uh, when you trip lights, you go and look for the trip switch. Not so. And you put it back on. And, and once you put it back on, the power is there. And again, we have to bring uh, a back an understanding of who we are in Christ Jesus. Who dwells inside of us. Now, when David walked onto the battlefield, notice that, remember this, he, he comes to his brothers and he finds them in a place of isolation. Why? Because of Goliath, the giant that comes and calls upon them to come and fight him. And, and they become all fearful because he's a giant for goodness sake. But when David walked onto the battlefield, ready to face Goliath, he was about to reset the power button in the lives of those who isolated themselves from this giant <laughs> called Goliath. You see, with the stone in his slingshot and an army of heaven's angels behind him, his stone found the mark. <laughs> Come on, you know what? <clears throat> Jesus Christ came to set us free. <laughs> we find life in him, not death. Uh, and, and, and this is what he did. He went to the cross for you and I. He paid uh, the penalty that we should pay. He paid in full upon the cross of Calvary. He became our sin. Oh man, this is, this is just incredible to understand what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. It still blows my mind to, to even think of what Jesus did. But again, just like David who stepped onto that battlefield with one stone in his hand and in his slingshot uh, and, and he won the battle of the day because he put his faith and his trust in God and the armies of God that were behind him. Remember, I spoke about this uh, in, in, in uh, uh, Psalm 23, uh, where, where it says, goodness and mercy follows me all the days of my life. This was David. So he must have reminded himself when he wrote the psalm of that day that he stood before Goliath. And he said, man, goodness and mercy was with me, behind me. I, I was a young boy, didn't think much, but I knew that I could bring down this giant because God was for me, not against me. And I believe again, this giant of this virus will fall if we put our faith and our trust in God. Listen to this in 1 Samuel 17 and verse 49. 49 uh, uh, David uh, taking up a stone. This is what David did. He took up a stone. He hurled it with his slingshot and it hit the Philistine in his forehead. He brought him down. Again, we need to hit this virus in its forehead. We need to bring it down. And the only way that we can bring it down is if we put our faith and our trust in God. You see, when David stood before Goliath, he must have thought, this guy is too big. I will never be able to to miss. <laughs> Come on, man. He looked at this and he said, man, this guy is so big. No way am I going to miss with this slingshot today. I'm going to hit the mark because he's a big giant and I cannot miss. You see, bigger your enemy, bigger the blessing that will follow when we put our faith in God. We have to come back and put our faith in God. You see, David's faith was not in his ability of being a skilled warrior. He, in fact, he wasn't a warrior. He was a shepherd boy. But he again came with the skill that he found in his God. You know, I can do all things through Christ who is my strength, who gives me strength. This is what we believe. This is what we hold on to. So what will bring down the giant that keeps one isolated? Now, I believe there is only one thing that can bring down this giant, faith. And again, we have to understand that our faith can only be put in God. Faith in God and not in the place of isolation driven by fear. Fear will drive us into isolation. Faith will liberate us and set us free because we put our faith and our trust in God. So the way to move the hand of God is not from a platform of prayer or fasting, 
And that is important. We remember we have to pray, we have to fast, but faith in God who created all things. So we put our faith and our trust in God. Yes, we fast. Yes, we pray. But our faith, what drives our prayer is faith. What drives our fast in his faith. Faith in who? Faith in God. Not in my ability, not what I'm able to do, but what God has already done on our behalf. You see, once faith is released, prayer and fasting will be activated naturally and so it just becomes a natural part of our lives when faith is released in our lives so come on why not put your faith and your trust in god